in English, proper nouns, which would be the name of people and places, never have an article in front of them as other nouns do. This can be seen in English, in our English models. We'll show you in a little bit. Uh, well, actually, we'll go over the models now. I see Terry. There you go. Funo sin Terry. And all nouns must be preceded by the a uh article. Um, other articles can be used, but uh is almost always used. It could be used also with focused pronouns, and we'll go over that later on. And also, the article is used only before personal proper names. Um, it is never used before other words that translate as proper names in English. For example, it is never used before a place name. The Quinoe. It doesn't have the audio to it. Maybe I'll share it anyways. Uh, if we are on our scaler, Konawi is down here. It says, "As umina uya atli." Did Lee go hunting? "As umina uya atli." And then the other person replies, "Awa." Hiya at Terry. No, Terry went. Hiya, oh, awa, hiya at Terry. So if you go to exercises 4.6, and I'll go over the first sentence in each category where you translate into English and then translate into column. There's only five, so you can do those on your own. But I did want to go over it with you, anyways. So, Kunanget ut at Terry. Kunanget is column word for help. Ut is our question particle. Intransitive subject pronoun. So, did you help? And then at Terry. Did you help Terry? Next one, Terry will get dressed, the word for, so we're going to have to use get dressed, which would be eat some, and it says will, so that would be our future tense, sa, at, Terry, eat some, sa, at, Terry. And that's it for a proper pronoun, or proper nouns. If you're using your um, grammar book, we are on page 36. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me at harmony.arakawa at elwa.org.